Last Sunday, I finished going back, taking a video from last year's Biker Pelly, and towards the end of it, um, I gave a challenge. I said, today was supposed to be my last day on the ride this year, but it got canceled. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have a great day and get out there and do something. And when I said that, I thought, this might be the last time that I get to do something like Biker Pelly. Last Monday, all of that changed. lessons that we've been going through have become so personally important to me right now that I thought I would use this format as a way to share it with you, but also hopefully encourage you. I really want it to be an engagement between my life and the biblical text that we're going through. Sort of, these are my reflections and my thoughts on the text and how they're hitting me. So I'm sure some of you are wondering, you know, what's going on? What happened is last Monday, uh, my heart was literally pounding in my chest. I uh, put on my Apple Watch. It's got a feature where it will do an EKG, and it said that your heart is in AFib. So I went out, got breakfast, sat down, but I felt better. And so I took another one, and it said that I had a regular sinus rhythm. It did that about four times through the day. Being the typical guy, I did nothing. Then that night, my wife, who works as a uh, primary care provider, came home and I said, hey, guess what? And she was like, what? She scheduled me right into urgent care. That kind of set a lot of things in motion. Next thing I knew, I had an EKG. I was diagnosed with a heart flutter. It's irregular. They got me uh, right in with a, a cardiologist. So what did I get for my birthday? I got a cardiologist. I mean, how many people in the world get a cardiologist for their birthday? To another facility where they did an echocardiogram. It went from A flutter to they found a shunt between the left and right atriums. And so I've got this leak between the two atriums. And my heart is only uh, ejecting 40 to 45 percent. So kind of three issues I found out in the course of one day. Uh, now, the first thing I have to say is I really don't feel any pain or discomfort. I just get very tired and dizzy very easily. So this might be a totally incomprehensible video. I had a nuclear stress test done today. One of the things that really helps you recover from, from that particular drug is coffee. I could have told them that. So this is actually prescribed by the doctor. Number one is I'm really thankful that I'm born at this point in time in history where we've got medical tests and technology, we can do this. Number two, I'm really glad I'm born in a country where we have one of the better medical systems in the world. Number three, uh, I'm really thankful that with COVID, we have medical insurance. I know so many people that have gone unemployed and because insurance is tied to your employer, you know, here we are in the middle of a pandemic and they have no medical insurance. So I'm very, very glad that we have medical insurance. I realize I'm in a very fortunate situation. Number four is I'm really glad that my wife works in the medical field. I am so amazed that when we go into a medical clinic where the people know her, the care I get because of their respect for her. Thanks, Catherine. Before I go any further, I need to get a valve replaced. So let's go out to the garage. So this is my backflow valve. And last week when we decided to start up the sprinkler system, it wasn't working way deep down inside it, there's this little valve. We had no idea at all that this thing had broken over the winter. That little guy was way down in there. And then of course, like most things, it decides to start <sighs> drizzling. My heart's kind of like this backflow valve. Worked great. We have no idea at all when this particular valve went bad. I kind of feel like the doctors and God are me working to try and repair this stupid thing. Now for the moment of truth. 
nice and secure, no leaks. Uh, Don Armstrong said, look, stop making the video through right now because if you're struggling with this, there's no need to press things. But last week, I kept working on the video on I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the reason why I kept working on it is because that gave me a, a lot of sanity through this whole thing. Uh, the message of that test hit my life in so many different ways. Here's my reflections and my comments on those texts. Hopefully as a way to encourage you, what I don't want to do is just throw out a lot of information. You know, you get a momentary piece of encouragement, but an hour after watching the video, you're back where you were before. I'd much rather have you engage with it so that you have long-term change as a result or long-term application of these texts. But let's just take the two. I am the good shepherd and I am the way, the truth, and the life. With the good shepherd, I find myself as one of the sheep in the sheepfold. All the other sheep are running out to the pasture and I go to follow and the shepherd closes the door. I want to go out. I want to do things. I want to run around the pasture. And I'm in the sheepfold right now. It's like everything has come to a stop. I mean, I can't even walk up a little hill. Okay, coffee to get my memory back. And I also see the good shepherd because the good shepherd cares for the sick sheep and he makes sure that they get back to the fold and he makes sure that they're safe and that they will get to that pasture at the end. That text, I am the gate and I am the good shepherd, really hit me. Last week's lesson, I am, I am the way, the truth, and the life. With I am the way, I did the little diagram of we're born, we find ourselves here, and then we're, you know, life as a journey, we finally end up uh, at death where our journey ends. With my life, it's like all of a sudden, it's just come to this screeching halt. I know a lot of people have been through much worse issues. Really, I'm very, very sympathetic with that. I'm very sympathetic to all the people suffering from COVID right now in that I really can't do much. And right now we're going through tests to figure out uh, what's going on. But when it talks about that Jesus says, I am the way, it's like I look back on my life and I can see all the places that he has directed and led and guided my life. And up to this very point, all of a sudden, now I can't see where the way is going, the path is going. When I look back and I read these texts, I know that there is a way that Christ is leading me. I just don't know what it is right now. It's just uh, tis mystery all. It's a lot like, well, no, it's not even close. When COVID-19 hit, I had an idea that I would take what I was teaching and put it online since we're in social lockdown. I had a solution. I knew what to do, where to go. Uh, right now, I don't, I don't know where this is going, uh, to tell you the truth. And so really, I'm just kind of stepping one, one foot in front of the other. I'm plodding along. That's where I'm at in this whole regard and how I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and I am the gate and the Good Shepherd are, are hitting my life. Uh, what I hope to do is continue this sort of video log or video diary for the next uh, couple weeks, hopefully. And the main goal why I'm recording this is to encourage you to think and reflect and go deeper on these passages. We, we shall see where it goes from here. I'll keep you informed.